Okay, you as well. Thank you. L minus five minutes. OVM, transfer third stage to internal power. Roger. All steps are complete prior to terminal count. And we have about 30 seconds remaining in our hold in the T-minus clock. After that, the L-minus and the T-minus clocks will be synced up. You're looking at a live shot, the Delta IV Heavy Rocket, poised for liftoff from Space Launch Complex 37 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. And we'll pick up the count. Five, four, three, two, one. T minus four minutes and counting. Minus three fifty five. Ground pyros enabled. And once again, we're about three minutes and 20 seconds before liftoff. And Mick, can you tell me what we have left to go in the, in the next three minutes? Yeah, the teams are securing uh, LOX and L, uh, LH2, uh, liquid hydrogen uh, uh, tanking there. They'll be finishing that up, uh, getting ready to go internal. You'll hear a call for spacecraft uh, power to internal. They'll be arming their flight termination systems and getting ready for launch and then uh, bringing the Delta IV Heavy launch vehicle onto internal power uh, to uh, prepare for the final terminal count. And it's 249. And we are coming up very shortly on the verification of the spacecraft being on internal. CBC locks at flight pressure and flight level. And it's 230. NSC, verify spacecraft on internal power. Verified. And we are at T minus two minutes, five seconds and counting. After liftoff, we'll be listening to the voice of United Launch Alliance, Patrick Moore providing ascent commentary. 155. Launch sequence or start. Minus 140. FCS launch enable. 137. CBC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. FTS armed. Minus 120. We'll see you armed. FCS count started. Two minus. One minute. Engine start box, go. Rock, report range status. Range in. 50. LVO, LCOVM, third go stage is go for launch. Roger. Range in. Second stage, LH2 secure at flight level. 40. Minus 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go PSP. Minus 15. Trophy ignition. 10, 9, nine start. 8, eight seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, zero. Liftoff of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket with NASA's Parker Solar Probe, a daring mission to shed light on the mysteries of our closest star, the sun. Maximum dynamic pressure and Mach 1 Delta 4 is now supersonic. One minute, 30 seconds into flight. Port and starboard booster engines continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. One minute, 45 seconds into flight. Trajectory continuing to look good right down the middle of the range track. ACS press valve has been opened. ACS pressure response looks good. Two minutes, ten seconds in. Strap on boosters continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. And Delta IV has gone to closed loop guidance. Two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. And at two minutes, 39 seconds into flight, the Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. And launch vehicle is now 33 miles in altitude, 49 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. Three minutes into flight. Our 68A engines in the port and starboard boosters continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. Three minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Trajectory continuing to look good down the middle of the range track. Approximately two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. Chamber pressure is continuing to look good on all three boosters. Port and starboard booster in the full thrust mode. Core booster continuing in the partial thrust mode. And standing by for a strap-on booster throttle down momentarily. Port and starboard boosters have begun to throttle down. And we have jettison of both strap-on boosters. Core booster is throttled back up to full thrust. Response looks good. Four minutes, 25 seconds into flight. Upper stage lock system has begun boost phase chill down sequence. And one minute remaining in boost phase of flight. And upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down.
five minutes into flight. Just over 30 seconds now remaining in first stage, first stage phase of flight. Core booster engine continues to look good in the full thrust mode. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. Five minutes, 20 seconds into flight. And standing by for core booster throttle down momentarily. Core booster has begun to throttle down. Standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff standing by for stage step. And we have good indication of stage separation. Ned is deploying. We have pre-start on the RL-10. And we have ignition on the RL-10 engine. Engine chamber pressure looks good. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. Now six minutes, 20 seconds into flight. And with the boost phase of flight complete, Parker Solar Probe will now continue its journey to the sun. And it's 6 minutes, 50 seconds into flight. RL-10 chamber pressure looks good. Seeing good responses on the upper stage RCS system. And uh, after a brief review of booster performance, seeing very close to nominal performance on the booster. And this first burn of the second stage will last approximately 4 minutes 42 seconds. Now 7 minutes 30 seconds into flight. About 3 minutes remaining in the first burn. And at 8 minutes 30 seconds into flight, our all 10 chamber pressure continues to look good. Seeing very stable values on the upper stage LOX and LH2 tanks. ACS storage bottle pressure looks good. And vehicle body rates are very smooth. Now nine minutes into flight. At 9 minutes 40 seconds into flight, just under 1 minute remaining now in the first burn of the second stage. Second stage continuing to perform nominally. RL-10 engine performing well. Uh, tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. 
10 minutes into flight. 